Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. So, in the early days of my streaming gaming era, one of my lovely subbies recommend that I react to the trailer for a new game titled Lost and Random. After viewing that trailer, I knew immediately that this was a game for me. I have what I like to call media love at first sight. All I have to do is view a small amount of content and I can instantly tell if I'm gonna love it. It never fails. And this happens all the time with anime, books, and video games. It's super convenient and just reaffirms that I have good taste. And Lost in Random is certainly a gem and one of my favorite video games that I don't think enough of you guys have played. The atmosphere, stories, and characters all give Tim Burton meets Alice in Wonderland, but like if Disney had nothing to do with it. And Lost in Random is a dark fantasy action adventure indie game. The high ratings you see in the reviews of this game are totally earned. I even ranked it top 5 in my every game ranked video. You should check that video out by the way, link in the description. In Lost in Random, you play as Even, a little girl who sets out on an adventure to rescue her sister Odd, who was technically legally kidnapped by the Queen of Random on her 12th birthday, thanks to the Queen's random rules. Even must travel the world of random six territories, each named for the numbers on the dice. And each chapter is unique with challenges, new characters, and side quests, which all eventually lead even closer to her sister and the queen. At the start of our journey, we meet Dicey, a sentient dice who becomes our companion and helps with fighting our enemies. It unlocks a new power for Even to use, as well as a mystery to solve. The visuals are amazing and my favorite part. I love the game's perspective and being submersed into different worlds. It leans on the creepy side, and there were some insane looking characters and bosses that truly added to the charm of the overall game. And the gameplay, in my opinion, is neither hard nor super easy. It's about 12 to 15 hours long, but I had fun the entire time. The combat is a clever mixture of tactical combat, card collection, and a dice game. The ending reveal was dark and kinda sad, but I won't spoil it for you. If you haven't played Lost in Random, you need to seriously get on that. So imagine my surprise when I randomly came across the trailer for Lost in Random The Eternal Die. My heart jumped. A Lost in Random sequel is something I have been mentally begging for since beating the game. The feeling I had instantly when I beat the game and the credits roll was that I want more. I love the adventure. And I recognized immediately that The Eternal Die hints at a prequel story that centers the Queen of Random too. And if you beat the game like me, you'll understand how interesting the Queen's story can be. But again, I won't tease you, you need to play the game. However, after watching the trailer in pure excitement, I had to give it a double take because something was off. And when I viewed it for the second time, I could feel my excitement slipping through my fingers. It was turning into fear. I mean, look at this. Although the trailer starts out strong, what follows just pissed me off. What is this? I hate this layout. This is nothing like the original atmosphere where you were truly inside the world of random. This looks like one of those mobile games that I intentionally avoid. I hate game layouts like this. They feel so cheap and boring. And I don't want to judge too early because I could be wrong, but the Eternal Die based on the gameplay trailer looks like a total downgrade from its predecessor. And now I'm forced to lay awake at night wondering why? Why would they change it? Instead of getting another immersive adventure paired with a cool story, we're getting a roguelite? According to Steam, Lost in Random The Eternal Die is an action-packed roguelite adventure in the world of Random. Play as Queen Alexandra and wield her living die companion, Fortune, as they go all in against the ancient evil that took everything from her. So, we're losing the charm of the original game for a uh, all you do is fight game? This is so disappointing, my feelings are so hurt. And again, I could be wrong, but Lost in Random was amazing, and I can already tell from this trailer that The Eternal Die will most likely not provide what made me love Lost in Random so much. Like, who asks for this? Not me. And you know what? Let's look at the Lost in Random trailer so you can get an idea of where I'm coming from because there is a stark difference. Welcome to the world of Random. 
where everyone's destiny is decided by a roll of the one true dice. And the one true queen who controls it. For when a child comes of age, they must roll this dice just once, and in so doing, determine their fate for all eternity. Happy birthday. Be grateful, child, that the queen herself is here for your special day. Now, roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. Ah, you live with us now. This place. Destroy them, my queen. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Ugh. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys my first impressions of the Lost and Random sequel game. Those who have hung out with me during my stream sessions know how much I enjoyed playing this game. I might even have to do another replay stream because it's that much fun. And yeah, I know I should probably chill out, but based on what I saw, mm, I'm extremely disappointed. Anyways, leave your condolences in the comments. Have you guys even heard of or played Lost and Random? What do you think of the internal die? What were your first impressions? Am I being dramatic? Does it look good to you? Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye.